Let's find out about that. Let's find out about who's got her. <laughs> Let's put this Daniel Dubais has made a bold statement aimed at Anthony Joshua in a recent interview. Dubai confidently declared that he's not just looking to beat Joshua, but plans to knock him out cold. As the fight approaches, Dubois is certain that Joshua will be gripped with fear, possibly even second-guessing himself. Dubois emphasized that Joshua must accept the reality that he will be defeated, and there's nothing Joshua can do to change the outcome. If you believe Dubois will simply put up a good fight against Joshua, you might want to think again. John Hedges, famously known as Gentleman John, has revealed some startling insights about Dubois that could make you reconsider your assumptions about this fighter. According to Hedges, sparring with Dubois was an intense and almost terrifying experience. He described it as a moment that pushed him to his limits, where fear felt so real that he nearly lost control. Hedges, who has faced numerous opponents in the ring, admitted that sparring with Dubois was unlike anything he had ever encountered before. The very brief at Newlands Gym, um, meant to be body sparring, and in, in pure fear, I've accidentally cracked him with a headshot, and I've never part of my language shit myself so much in my Hedges went on to share that when he sparred with Dubois, he found it impossible to read Dubois's thoughts. It was as if Dubois was a complete enigma, an unreadable force that kept Hedges on edge the entire time. The unpredictability of Dubois' movements, the way he delivered his punches, and the calculated precision with which he attacked all added to an overwhelming sense of unease that Hedges couldn't shake. He described it as a surreal experience, constantly second-guessing what would come next, leaving him in a state of constant tension. He'll back me on this. You don't know if Daniel's joking or he wants to kill you. He's got the same eyes, the same emotion. So I was going, Dan, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. We went back to body spine and like, like I say, he's a gentleman, Daniel. When asked about the upcoming clash between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois, John Hedges issued a stern warning to Joshua. He cautioned the former world champion against overconfidence emphasizing that underestimating Dubois could lead to disastrous consequences. Hedges made it clear that if Joshua enters the ring with even a hint of complacency, he could be setting himself up for a significant loss. He stressed that despite Joshua's experience, skill, and heart of a champion, he cannot afford to underestimate Dubois. Dubois packs serious power, Hedges warned. The kind of punch that can leave a lasting impact if you're not careful. I've seen what he can do, and it's no joke. While many believe Joshua's chances of winning are high, Hedges has a different perspective. He believes that overlooking Dubois would be a grave mistake. In his view, Dubois isn't just another stepping stone for Joshua, he's a formidable opponent with the potential to upset the odds. Hedges emphasized that a single mistake on Joshua's part could be all Dubois needs to turn the tables. With his raw power and relentless drive, Du Bois could capitalize on any opening, turning it into a decisive weapon in the ring. The chances of Joshua losing are real, but so are his chances of coming out on top. According to Hedges, it will all come down to who can execute their game plan better on fight night. Joshua needs to be sharp, focused, and fully aware of what Du Bois brings to the table, because one mistake could change everything. Hedges isn't the only one sounding the alarm. Johnny Fisher, known as the Romford Bull in the boxing world, also shared a similar warning for Joshua in a revealing interview with Asterisk, seconds out Asterisk. Fisher, who has sparred with Dubois, spoke about the impact of Dubois' powerful punches. He described how just one punch from Dubois left a lasting impression on him, underscoring the immense power Dubois possesses. Dubois can seriously whack you, Fisher explained. I'd sparred him loads, and his right hand can shake you to your absolute core. I remember being hit by one, it felt like an electric shock running through my body. Despite his praise for Dubois' power, Fitcher remains confident in Joshua's ability to secure victory. When asked who he believes will win the highly anticipated bout, Fisher leans slightly towards Joshua. My prediction slightly favors Anthony Joshua, given his experience and skill, Fitcher said. But I can't completely dismiss Daniel Dubois in this matchup. There's something about Dubois' power and his ability to push the pace early on that makes me think he has a legitimate chance. Fisher went on to assess the qualities of both fighters before explaining why Joshua might leave Dubois on the canvas. I haven't sparred Joshua, but I know how hard he can hit just from the knockouts he's delivered and what he's done to opponents. Fisher continued. But Dubois' jab is like a right hand in itself, so I can't overlook him. 
He's coming off strong performances against guys like Gerald Miller and Philip Ergovic. Du Bois isn't a joke, he's a serious threat. Philip Ergovic has been somewhat of a bogeyman in the heavyweight division for the past two to three years, so defeating him was a major accomplishment for Daniel Dubois. As Johnny Fitcher highlighted, Dubois has a significant chance of emerging victorious against Anthony Joshua, provided the fight unfolds under the right conditions. But what is Fisher's basis for this? According to him, Dubois' path to victory relies on his ability to wear down Joshua in the early rounds of the match. Fisher pointed out that if Dubois can impose his power and pace from the outset, he could exploit any potential vulnerabilities in Joshua's stamina. By targeting Joshua early, Dubois has the chance to gain the upper hand before Joshua's endurance and late fight tactics come into play. However, Fisher warns that if Dubois allows the fight to stretch into the later rounds, he may find himself at a disadvantage. Joshua is known for his resilience and his ability to perform exceptionally well as the fight progresses. Fisher's insights suggest that Joshua's strength often becomes more pronounced in the later stages of a fight, which could turn the tide against Dubois if he hasn't secured a decisive advantage early on. While Fisher acknowledges Dubois' potential to win, he emphasizes the critical importance of early round dominance. Without this advantage, Dubois risks falling victim to Joshua's late fight prowess, potentially leading to missed opportunities and regrets as Joshua capitalizes on his ability to finish strong. If Daniel Dubois can successfully impose his will and wear down Anthony Joshua in the early rounds, he stands a real chance of shifting the fight in his favor. By pushing the pace and applying relentless pressure before Joshua finds his rhythm, Dubois could gain a significant advantage. However, achieving this won't be easy. Joshua has qualities that allow him to adapt and overcome adversity as the fight progresses. But Dubois also has the potential to disrupt Joshua's game plan if he can maintain a high tempo and capitalize on any early weaknesses. So, what do you think? Will Dubois, with his youthful energy and fighting spirit, prove himself in the ring, or will Joshua once again assert his dominance and showcase why he is a top contender? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Be very brief at Newlands Gym. Um meant to be body sparring and in in pure fear I've accidentally cracked him with a headshot and I've never part of my language shit myself so much in my Hedges went on to share that when he sparred with Dubois he found it impossible to read Dubois's thoughts. It was as if Dubois was a complete enigma, an unreadable force that kept Hedges on edge the entire time. The unpredictability of Dubois' movements, the way he delivered his punches, and the calculated precision with which he attacked all added to an overwhelming sense of unease that Hedges couldn't shake. He described it as a surreal experience, constantly second-guessing what would come next, leaving him in a state of constant tension.